don't know how this whole surprise thing works. Like, so it's kind of turning into a CCM day, but we don't even know what kind of CCM they are. headed back to Minneapolis to meet up with Kaz. I know tomorrow we're gonna jump on the ice with John Schiavo, which will be fun. It'll be the first time I've ever actually skated with him. And uh, I do have a little bit of a surprise for Kaz. Um, I have these old pads here, these old CCM gatekeepers. I even have an old blocker, which doesn't really match, but um, I know he used to wear Gatekeeper back in the day. So instead of these just kind of sitting around, considering this is the second set that I have, and I have another set that uh, I have super modified. So I actually play in those, but instead of these just kind of sitting around, I know he would really appreciate them. So I'm going to bring them out there for him to check out and uh, have fun with. But yeah, got the uh, bag packed over here. I'm also maybe going to be trying out some other gear out there. I know last time I went out there, I ended up going to the Bauer Experience store. And if you haven't seen the video for that, I'll make sure to put that probably up here somewhere. So luckily I don't have to actually pack up my pads back here. So that'll save on some luggage space, but it should be a good time. Like I said, I don't really have a solid plan for this trip, but it should be a fun hockey trip nonetheless. So uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Go have a good time. So I just landed. About to go grab my bag before meeting up with Wit and Kaz, but Fortune is probably a little too late to be doing a little surprise type thing. So I think this whole giving the pads to Kaz thing is gonna have to wait until tomorrow. The next morning. Okay, so the plan is to just like have the pads basically set up out here and then Maybe Kaz is just gonna walk around the corner and see them. I don't know how this whole surprise thing works. Like, how do you surprise somebody with like leg pads? Yo, those are yours, by the way. What do you mean? I'm giving those to you. For me? Yeah. No, you, you just have to have them. Dude, I already have a set. That's my second set. What? I'm not even using those. Can sure wear them today? Can if you want. Yeah. I know you did. Back. Yeah, baby. Alright, surprise time is complete. Kaz is gonna rock the gatekeepers for this gate. At least try him out, see what he thinks. Uh, I'm also gonna rock a set of CCM, so it's kind of turning into a CCM day, but... Which CCMs? <sighs> hey, we don't even know what kind of CCMs they are. Sick. Super secret. But yeah, we're gonna jump into uh, the pond here. My first time here, pretty sweet little rink. Perfect for doing uh, some drills and stuff. So pop in here and see what it's all about. Have a good time. Microphone said, which is classic Bonesy. But we're rocking the uh, the Fox mask design here. Looking pretty sick. Kaz is rocking the gatekeeper pads, which is hilarious. And this should be a pretty fun skate, even though uh, classic no microphone. right into this skate it really is nice to finally have a new mask and I've really only been able to use this mask a few times leading up to this skate so it was really nice to have an opportunity to try out this new apex mask but honestly I got such a kick out of watching Kaz use these CCM gatekeepers <laughs> Goalie gear itself has come such a long way since the early 2000s when these pads came out and Kaz and I might be showing our age a bit considering we wore these when we were much younger. I used to have these pads growing up, I think it was like 2004, 2005. Same experience. 
sad call of life. One of my all time favorite pads. But after playing in these pads and knowing how they feel, it was really cool to see Kaz put them on and make it look easy. He made such big saves and he was moving around just like he would in any modern pad. But not only was he making some huge saves like this huge two pad stack. That's how you do it, baby. But he was throwing his blocker around just like he would any other modern blocker. This blocker is nice. Might have to switch to this one. And it looks like he had no problem throwing this thing around, making some really good blocker saves. Now the biggest thing for me with this skate was being able to try these unreleased CCM pads, but also being able to see the big differences between the older CCM pads and these new CCM pads. Watching Kaz play, you can see that the older pads do have some pretty good slide in them, but considering the knee blocks are so different from then to now, you can really see the amount of stability that you get in the modern pad compared to that older pad. But not only has the ability to slide with ease improved over the years, the stability of the pad itself has really come a long way and that really comes from the improved knee block that we have seen develop over the years. Not much of a knee block on these things. I feel like my knee is gonna fall off of this. Like this. But we've also noticed a trend in goalie pads getting stiffer and the rigidity of the pad has really improved over the years too. With the old gatekeepers, they were a little ahead of their time. They were very thin, especially up towards the top of the pad. But they also kind of played like a marshmallow. They were a little more of that pillow type pad where now pads are a lot more stiff, rigid, and they don't have that twist like a lot of the older pads do. Now rebound control is another huge factor. Now the way the game has evolved, we used to see pads that would almost absorb rebounds, keeping pucks closer and tight, whereas now with the game being so much faster and more skilled, we're seeing pads that really launch pucks off the face of the pad. So fun to be able to come out, try all this new gear. You know, I was able to try out that Apex mask. Also got to rock my Kova neck guard and suspenders, which still feel great. And then of course, jumping out and using those CCM pads. And a lot of fun watching Kaz try out those gatekeepers too. I absolutely love those things. And it's really cool to see him get a good kick out of using those. That's it for today, but tomorrow is going to be another day of jumping on the ice, trying out some new gear. I'll be trying out some PGS gear, which will be fun. And then going out to John Chiavo's training facility and seeing what kind of cool stuff they got going on over there. So until then, we'll be seeing you around.